Hey, I'm Coach Zach, and this is Critical Bench. Now, I want to share with you my personal story of dealing with my hiatal hernia. Now, this is an old hockey injury that was made worse when I joined the Marine Corps Infantry. And for the longest time, I had no idea what it was. I just know that I was always short on breath. I always had heartburn. I had GERD. Uh, I would eat foods and it just wouldn't sit well with me. I would have digestive problems and I would have like a big, it almost looked like a tumor right there in my abdomen. And I had no idea what it was. I just thought it was part of who I was. And it, it caused so many problems for me. I was always in pain. I was always distressed. It caused even anxiety because my breathing patterns were so out of whack. But then once I realized what it was, what caused it, I, I began a discovery of how I can fix it myself. Because when I went to the doctor with it, they immediately just tried to prescribe me antacids to cut down on the stomach acid and mask my symptoms. Now I'm not a mask symptoms kind of guy. When I have a problem, I want to get to the root cause of it and actually heal it. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to explain to you what a hiatal hernia is and how you can naturally fix it. So what is a hiatal hernia anyway? And should you be concerned about it, about having it and not knowing it? Well, to understand what it is, first we have to understand what our diaphragm is. Our diaphragm is a dome-shaped muscle that separates our chest from our abdomen. Now it doesn't completely separate it. Some things still need to go through, such as our descending aorta and our esophagus. Now when it comes to a hiatal hernia, we're dealing more with the esophagus and the stomach. Now the causes of a hiatal hernia can either be, in my case, from an, a specific injury or it can just happen when you have a weak diaphragm. So you have a hole in your diaphragm that allows your esophagus to pass through down into your stomach. This is called your esophageal hiatus. Now in the case of a hiatal hernia, this is the area that causes the problem. Your stomach begins to poke up through this hole and begins to enter up into your chest cavity. Now, the feelings that you get from this can be difficulty breathing. I mean, your chest is up in your stomach. It's obstructing your, your airways. It's not allowing your lungs to fully inflate. This causes a shortness of breath and dysfunctional breathing patterns. But it also causes heartburn because the stomach acid is poking up through that hole and into your chest. So if you eat foods that are acidic, you're going to feel it. Consume something acidic and see how you react to it. Do you begin having uh, heartburn or indigestion for no other reason that you know? Then there is a good chance that you might have a hiatal hernia. If you've ever had an injury where you've had the wind knocked out of you, that is also a good sign that you may have a hiatal hernia. So once I learned what a hiatal hernia was and exactly what I was dealing with, I realized what needed to be done. So because my stomach was stuck up in my chest and my diaphragm was not holding it down properly, in my mind I said, okay, well let me relax my diaphragm, let me relax my stomach, bring my stomach down, and then let me tone up my diaphragm so it keeps it down. That's what I was thinking. And then I did more research into it and I found methods that worked for me. Now I'm going to go into those methods and show you how you can fix your hiatal hernia. So first thing in the morning, what you want to do is you want to drink about two glasses of room temperature to warm water. Now what this will do, it will serve as a weight in your stomach and because it's warm or room temperature, it will also relax the muscles surrounding your stomach and your diaphragm. Now what you're going to do is you're going to drink that water and then you're going to jump down on your heels. And now what this will do over time, consistently doing it, it will literally bring your stomach down. I mean, this is the most functional way to fix a hiatal hernia. So drink your water, and then you can either have your hands up here to open up your diaphragm. You can put them uh, behind your head. You can raise them, whatever works better for you. You're going to inhale, come up onto your tippy toes. Exhale, drop down. Now, at first you might not really feel anything, you might not know what's going on, that's okay. Over time, with the muscles being relaxed, you will bring your stomach down and you will actually be able to feel it come down. 
and you might start burping, you might start letting out some gas. That is an amazing sign that your stomach is going back down to where it's supposed to be. So now that we have your stomach down in place, we have to keep it there. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna tone up our diaphragm simply by raising your arms in the air and then rapidly panting with your mouth open. What that does is you're just sending a lot of blood and a lot of muscle activity down into your diaphragm, toning it up and keeping that stomach down where it's supposed to be. Now another variation of this, my personal favorite, is to do the same thing but use a rebounder or a trampoline. So simply drink your water, come onto a trampoline, same thing. You can have your hands up here, behind your head, extend them up, just anything to open up your chest, open up your diaphragm, and then simply jump. You can jump lightly at first, you can jump more rigorously. It doesn't matter, whatever feels right for you. With the trampoline though, you'll really feel that stomach moving a lot more, and it'll really have more force to come down into place. Deep inhales and forceful exhales are amazing for this because breathing and using those muscles will really allow that stomach to drop back down to its rightful place. And again, same thing, you wanna keep it there. So tone up that diaphragm by raising your arms and So with the heel drops or the trampoline, we're bringing the stomach back down into its rightful place. Now another method that I like to use really relieves the tension in the diaphragm and a lot of times simply doing this allows my stomach to go into place. And it, all it takes is a little bit of self-massage. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a wall. You want to locate your ribs, right? Your ribs run diagonally right here so just feel where the bones are. Right underneath the ribs is where you want to be on the left side because that's the side that your stomach would be stuck up in a hiatal hernia. So right under your ribs, maybe about a quarter of an inch to half an inch underneath your ribs. You can find where the tension, where it feels tender is where you wanna go. So you wanna put your upper back against the wall, really expand out through the chest, opening up your diaphragm. Use your fingers. Now start gentle, you know, you don't wanna immediately start sticking your fingers in there. Start just very gentle with a light touch. So with your inhale, you're gonna come up underneath your ribs, right where your diaphragm is. And then you're gonna exhale, you're gonna lean forward and push down at the same time with a, with a forceful exhale. So it looks like this. So as I'm going forward, I'm also coming down along the left side of my abdomen. So, Just doing that and I felt some gurgling as my stomach went back down to where it's supposed to be. Now, that method is amazing, but you could also just simply, you can do it laying down or standing up. You can just go right along your diaphragm with your fingers and just lightly give yourself a little massage. Your diaphragm, when it comes to a hiatal hernia, gets really tight, really rigid because it's, it's got, you know, your stomach is literally in the middle of it. So by releasing that tension, by allowing that diaphragm to relax. You're giving the stomach a place that it can go back down to where it's supposed to be. You will breathe deeper. You will be able to breathe fully. Your stomach will be happy. Your stomach will be back down where it's supposed to be. Your chest will have the room that it needs for your heart and your lungs. And overall, your life will be so much better because when you have a hiatal hernia, you're in a constant state of fight or flight. Your body is always sensing that there's something wrong. There's chronic inflammation right there in your stomach. So you might not feel it, you might not be aware of it, but it is affecting you on some level. So by naturally getting that stomach back down, by naturally allowing that diaphragm to release, you're taking off so much pressure, so much energy that your body can use elsewhere. You know, like recovering from an intense workout or just healing overall. So this is the way that I healed my hiatal hernia and I really hope that it helped you in some way, shape or form.
Real quick, I just want to give you my personal routine, which I do every morning. Now, on days that I don't do this, or I skip it, or I don't have time, I actually feel the difference. I feel my stomach be a little higher, my breath is a little bit more shallow. On days where I have the time to do this, which honestly I make time because it's such an important part of my morning routine, I feel more grounded. My stomach is down, I can breathe more full, and I just overall feel better. So what I do is, first thing in the morning, I drink two glasses of room temperature water. Sometimes I even make it a little warm just to really get that relaxation response into my stomach and my abdomen. And then I come up on my trampoline. I just come up on my trampoline and I, and I do this for five to 10 minutes. Really until I feel my stomach, I become aware of my body to the point where I know if my stomach is up or if it's down. So when I feel it go down, then I'm like, all right, I'm good. I do the, the diaphragm toning. The and then I'm ready for my day. And then at nighttime, before I go to bed, I do the self massage or anytime throughout the day when I feel my stomach coming up, I go against the wall and I do that forceful push. And that is my ritual, that is my routine, that is how I deal with my hiatal hernia. Please share with us your personal experience with a hiatal hernia, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. But before you go, I wanna give you a free report that will greatly help you, not only with your hiatal hernia, but improve your overall life, improve how you feel, how you perform, how you think, and it's a free report on the top three best things you can do for your posture. If you want that, just click right here. And while you're there, subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out all these other videos down here that I know you'll love. That's it. I'm Coach Zach here at Critical Bench. Namaste.